Alright, so we're looking at the next edition of the 60th anniversary of Avengers from Hasbro Marvel Legends. This is the Beyond Earth Mightiest line that they're doing this year. And we have a two-pack here. This is Thor and Destroyer. Comes in a window-less package. There's the front cover. On the back side, we get the images of the figures again and the accessories that they're supposed to come with. So if you guys are interested in these, check out the links down below in the description where you guys can order yourself one of these uh, two-packs. Alright, so first and foremost, these figures stand, let's see, Destroyer stands about 9 inches tall, while Thor is about 7.5 inches tall. Looking at the top of the wing here, it's about 8 inches. So, pretty big, decent figures. Now, we all want Destroyer to be even bigger than what he is, but this is a good size Destroyer to have finally in our collection because I think, if I'm not mistaken, this is the first Hasbro Marvel Legends Destroyer. A uh, long overdue character, and it's cool that we got it in this two pack. Now, this two pack retails for about sixty dollars, so that you know breaks down to about thirty dollars per figure here. Uh, this I always thought this would be like a build a figure one day, so thirty bucks for a quote unquote build a figure size, um, you know, figure is not too bad. Uh, not too bad at all. Now, thirty bucks for this store, it maybe it's a little steep, so it kind of you know is a give and take there on on the price here, but. They're still decently sized um, figures. Now, in terms of accessories, it could come with more, of course, as always. But Thor does come with an alternate head scope, which comes with a face mask there over his eyes. And then the ears are a little bit different, too, or I guess the wings, not the ears. Uh, he comes with Milner, of course. Uh, the same Milner we've gotten plenty of times before. And then we do get a left fist. Uh, only a left fist. There's no right fist. Uh, as for the destroyer, we get a separate set of hands, so he has the the fists on right now. Then you can swap that out with a open left hand and a grabbing right hand. Now there's nothing for him to grab unless you give him Milner. Then he can definitely grab Milner. All right, so we are first going to take a look at the destroyer because he is the figure I am most excited for. This is of course a all new body mold, brand new, uh, first time we've seen it. Looks really, really cool. They went with the uh, gray uh, gunmetal plastic, uh, but they did do a very subtle black wash, which is nice. I'm glad that they did that because if they didn't, it would look too clean and it would look too plasticky, if that makes sense. Of course, I do wish they went with a metallic paint, but it does look really good. The light bounces off of it very well and it makes it look like it's actual metal, so that's cool. And of course he is um, pinless, got the pinless knees. On the back side you see a little bit of marbleize or marbleization of that plastic. So it is that marbleized plastic that you do see those swirls uh, every now and then around the figure. Luckily it's on the back side of the figure for me. Uh, there's a few swirls on the abdominal area there, but it's nothing crazy that I've, uh, I've seen before. Uh, the wash is a little bit heavier down here on the legs, which is nice. I dig it. It looks real metallic, so. Very cool that they added that wash. And then as for Thor, this is the 80th anniversary Thor body mold. So if you have that figure, you know what to expect here. It is pinned because it is that older body mold. And they went with this uh, plastic gold for the uh, shin guards or the boots. Uh, my only gripe would really be that they did not paint these um, you know, as like a gold paint. I think it just seems a little dull for my liking with just the base uh, plastic color there and then as for my specific figure it seems like it needed one more or a few more coats of skin paint on the side there because you can see how dark that is obviously the plastic is the is a black mold and they, they painted the uh, skin over it and you can definitely see from the top part to the bottom part how it's missing a coat of paint. It's a little too dark and you can see the black coming from uh, from beneath it. The highlight of this figure is definitely the head sculpt. That looks fantastic. I really love that face sculpt. That looks so good. It's bearded Thor, of course. It's got the nice luscious beard. And then you can see the wings on the side of his helmet is... Um, Painted with that little silver frame on top while the alternate head is not. I'm definitely going to pose him with this one because how could you cover that fantastic face sculpt that looks really good. The cape is the same as before and so is the rest of the figure. And here's a quick look at him with the alternate head sculpt attached. Alright so as for the articulation of the destroyer the head is looking like it's sitting on a ball joint. Yeah ball jointed barbell peg there. So he looks up about that far. He doesn't look down much because obviously 
it gets hindered by his massive chest or collar left and right uh, then we do get, get a little bit of a head tilt right there arms will go all the way around there you go and he does have this soft pliable shoulder guard so that will allow his arms to go all the way out they will allow it to go down and go forward there's a bicep swivel single jointed elbows at the uh, arm which bend just under 90 degrees or barely uh, there is a swivel at the elbow there's a swivel at the wrist with a hinge diaphragm joint at the torso that goes all the way around and forward and back nice nice movement there's not too bad there's a swivel there but there is no waist swivel at the waist legs will kick forward about that far then we go back down in and out about that far uh, we have a thigh swivel double jointed pinless knees at the leg then we have the ankle on a hinge and an ankle rocker right there at the foot. All right, so here's Thor next to the 80th anniversary Thor, which is still the goat in my book. Really like this one, and he still holds up today. It's not that old, but it is an older release. You can see it is the same figure. The boots are different, of course, and then the paint deco is different. And then there is the 80th Thor next to the Destroyer. So overall, this is a pretty sweet set that finally introduces the Destroyer and Modern Marvel Legends 6-inch scale. Very cool 2-pack. I really, really love this set here. The Thor is pretty cool and Destroyer, like I said. I mean, I've been waiting for this guy for a long time. I think they really delivered it with this release here. It looks really, really cool. It's going to look really great in your display. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. And while you're down there, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And as always, take care, take it easy, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye.